Greetings. This is Sakari from Omni Geometry, as usual. Uh, I, I thought uh, people have been asking how to export movies out of Omni Geometry. Uh, we are working on a direct movie export for the next version of Omni Geometry, but uh, the current offline version can already export image sequences which you can easily uh, create movies out of with uh, the help of FFmpeg, MPEG, which is a command line software for encoding and conver converting uh, images and movies and so on. So in this uh, video I'm gonna show you step by step how you can do that on Mac OS X. And I'm, I'm also going to show you how to install Homebrew which is a package manager for Mac OS, which lets you install FFmpeg very easily. So <coughs> here I have the Homebrew homepage open. It's brew.sh and installing Homebrew is very easy. You just go to the homepage here and you copy this command, uh, which will then install Homebrew. The only thing you have to do is, is um, to open a terminal window. So uh, I can here show you how to open a terminal. If you don't know that, I'll open terminal from the spotlight search and uh, it will open up an uh, empty terminal window. It might look a little bit different on your machine. I have customized it a little bit. So here I uh, copy this command and I run paste it to my terminal and just press enter. Uh, it will ask you something. Uh, I'm not going to run it right now because I've already done this. So you just copy this and you press enter and it will ask you maybe something and then you will install Homebrew. It's very easy. All right. And then when you have Homebrew installed, you can run this command and, and you don't need any any admin access or anything like that. Uh, Homebrew will install uh, with your um, user account uh, to, a, to a user uh, specific location. So once you have installed that, you can run brew, which is the basic command for installing uh, these packages. And you type brew install ffmpeg. Let's see what happens. I already have that, but it might update it. Let's see. So yeah, it's running brew update, which will update the packages and so on. Uh, all right, it, it has found a lot of new packages to update. No, no worries. Okay, so it says I already have it, but it will uh, upgrade the package. So this will just download the required packages and uh, install ffmpeg. It will take a while depending on your internet connection and so on. But it's a very uh, simple process. And let's uh, close this window while we're at it. And just uh, complete that installation. So while, while it's doing this, we can uh, check out the scene. I, I just made in uh, Omni Geometry. So I have this scene here and uh, it's a pretty nice scene. Uh, it's, it's kind of very, very calm pattern I, I made. Um, and many times when I make these patterns, they kind of like call me or I have this calling or a feeling that, okay, now I should do some pattern. And I was just meditating and um, I felt the need to make some geometry, so I made this beautiful uh, pattern utilizing some of the new features in uh, Omni Geometry 1.3.10. Anyway, let's let that run for a while there and let's see uh, if the uh, package. Oh, it's, it's updating some of my existing packages, so that's why it's taking a while, but with the. With when you install it for the first time, um, 
it, it shouldn't take this long I think well actually yeah it's installing the dependencies so it needs a lot uh, some other packages uh, to install ffmpeg it's kind of complex software but luckily brew has made this very easy and while we're waiting um, I can maybe show you a little bit about this scene so as you can see it's slowly scaling a bunch of layers and I've carefully tuned the different um, animation scale phases for these different as you can see here is the animation scale phase parameter uh, I've carefully tuned those to make this kind of um, fading pattern that comes out of nothingness and scales towards you with the animation scale start fade and end fade effect so um, these patterns they scale from scale start to scale end and, and what I've done I've copied this multiple times and just adjusted this scale phase which means it's gonna change the phase of the scaling creating this never-ending loop when it goes back to the start of the scale phase and end of the scale phase so if you change this scale phase uh, parameter uh, it will make for example these green patterns here uh, appear uh, to be coming at you at different phases so when another phase uh, ends like here right now another one is already coming it's the same pattern but with just different scale phase so you might want to look into that also I'll, I'll make another video at some point maybe how to do it let's see if the um, package has installed all right some package mm, said something about something yeah when you update this it might update a lot of packages so just be patient and wait for it to finish uh, I can uh, fast forward this section in the video this needs a lot of uh, different packages because because FMBIC can handle a lot of video formats and different encoders and uh, different uh, video formats and it knows how to for example convert a se animation sequence to different uh, what, whatever you need ffmbig has you covered all right now it's already installing the actual package and uh, Okay, seems it's it, it's upgrading a lot of other packages also. All right, now we finally have the FFmpeg installed, and this shouldn't take so long on your system. Uh, I had a lot of different packages installed, so it took a while. So now we can run the FFmpeg command, and you can see uh, from the command line if you type FFmpeg you see it just says the copyright information or how it was built so uh, we have posted the uh, information in our blog uh, together with the version 1.3.3 release we posted information how to create movies out of your image sequences so it's very simple you just have to export the image sequence out of your uh, scene and then run this command 
uh, in the directory you have exported the files to so let's see how that is done i'll open back omni geometry and uh, the animation is running you don't have to keep it running uh, then i will choose export animation sequence uh, and this only works in the offline version because uh, it's not possible to implement in the online version so i i choose uh, the time in seconds i want to do like for this movie we want to put just 10 seconds because uh, for demonstration purposes and frames per second means how many uh, what's the frame rate of the uh, target movie uh, this this affects the timing of the frame so I want to do a 60 FPS video you could add 30 whatever you like and um, we keep the create export directory checked and the size is all right and just we don't want to do a transparent export because we want to keep the background color now I press export and it will uh, prompt me to choose a directory where, where I'm gonna create a new directory uh, for the images exported so I just choose this I have already a directory here I choose this I, I, and I when I press open it will start the export process and as you can see it's gonna export each frame of the uh, animation sequence so that might take a while depending on complexity of your scene or resolution that you're exporting to okay now the movie is all um, or the sequence is almost finished and now you see okay finished in three minutes then we will tab out of om uh, omni geometry and we will go to the directory so we need to change uh, the active directory in our terminal so I, I put it in uh, my movies directory uh, that tilde means home directory so I'm gonna use the command cd which means change directory and go to movies omg and let's see I type ls it will show all the, all the directories in the terminal and here we have the uh, directory that I exported them so I'm gonna change to that like that and I can see with ls uh, dash l I can see okay there's a lot of png files here and I can open this in my finder like this to see okay uh, these are the frames we are looking for <laughs> so now we just copy paste this command and we paste it here and what this does is I'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see uh, I'm gonna run ffmbic with frame rate of 60 and, and this pattern time me means uh, it will uh, take in all the png files in this directory the asterisk.png and this means just it's x264 which is the standard uh, encoding format for movies we're gonna use and you don't have to care about this this means like quality I'm gonna change that to maybe 22 and uh, you don't have to care about this either it's just a format and then out mp4 means the uh, destination movie file name so I'm, I'm just gonna press enter here so it will now start converting all the 600 frames into a 10 second movie this is very fast all right it's done and if i want to see that i can type open out dot mp4 and as you can see we ha here have a 10 second piece of that uh, scene that we just exported so this is only 10 seconds so it doesn't run the full cycles 
so you might want to make longer or shorter shorter exports whatever you are working on so that's it it's very easy to do this with ffmbic for now and once you have this installed you can just run it again and i, ha I have this in my history so i can just how to complete this and you might have a different shell i'm using fish so it gives me these auto completions but you can uh um, use uh, up our up arrow to browse your history of commands or down up and down and i can export it again but it will ask overwrite no and here we can also see if i open this directory in open it means open this directory with the default application so it will open finder and here we have it the out.mp4 and as you can see 10 seconds is like 5 megabytes with this resolution with this movie so there you have it a uh, very easy way to export movies without uh, until we get the direct movie export implemented so hope you uh, can follow these instructions this was Sakari from Only Geometry and uh, I'm yeah so <laughs> very easy hope you enjoyed this video bye bye